Hey guys and girls, Joshua here from Smarter PT. So, as trainers, I know you have at one stage made the excuse to why something isn't happening the best or correctly in your business. We tend to seek problems created by others outside, but instead, you need to be looking inside at your business to see what is needed to be successful. Now, a bit of an insight to my business personally when I was personal training full time and started to really understand what was needed to be done to actually get clients. I was doing very well, had about over 30 clients, was doing about 50 to 60 sessions a week. But even though I had clients some weeks, I still struggled to make money. I remember at one stage having about 55 sessions booked in, but only got paid for about 20 of them, which was shocking since the week before, I remember depositing 2,500 into my account. I would sometimes get to the gym, wait for clients that never showed, was owed about 8,000 in payments, which I knew I would never see from the clients that just up and vanished. And every week needed to do sales and consults to ensure I had enough sessions from clients that might have left from the previous weeks. I was always held ransom to the clients and their unpredictable habits of forgetting and not showing. I should have been doing about 30 hours a week at the gym of personal training, yet I was there close to about 60 hours. The only way I was gonna break free was to no longer sell packs or packages of 10 and 30 sessions for an upfront cost. If you're selling packages upfront, well, this can actually be expensive for the client and you have to resell your client every month or every few weeks, depending on how many sessions they are doing. This also means that if your clients are paying for 20 sessions upfront, you are still fearful that a client, if they missed a session, that you still have to give them the session regardless if they forgot or not. As you're always scared that if you say no to a missed session, that when it comes around to selling the packs the next month, that your clients will say no to re-signing. So with packs, your clients are actually in control. So one day, I said, stuff it. There's gonna be no more packs. I finished out all those sessions I had with my clients. I then presented each client with my new weekly plan or challenge as I call them, and this had all the new pricing and value included. Along with the new weekly plans, every client that signed up was on a minimum 12 week agreement to ensure that they stayed long enough to see results and put effort towards their goals. About 90% of the clients on a minimum of 12 weeks stayed for over six to eight months with a huge percentage hitting goals and staying even longer since they didn't wanna leave. More clients hitting goals meant more referrals and more clients wanting to sign up. It was basically a win-win.